Mom, I wish I could come to you again with this truth, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Do my honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his words, sincerity and truth with all long suffering and doctrine, risking their lives and freedom to do so. This here is uh, the first article I stumbled across on RT News. It says, We won't surrender an inch of our land. Marshal Haftar to RT News on Libya's statehood and arms embargo. All right. Um, just browsing around. I'm going to proofread uh, the first three paragraphs that caught my attention. It says, The head of the Libyan National Army, Field Marshal Khalifa Haftar, has told RT he is seeking Moscow support. All right. So that's what caught my attention right there. He's seeking Russian support and lifting the unfair UN arms embargo in order to procure Russian weaponry to battle terrorism, human trafficking, and to fully restore Libya's sovereignty and statehood. It says in February 2011, in the wake of the Western backed uprising against longtime Libyan leader Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, the UN Security Council imposed an arms embargo prohibiting the supply of arms and military equipment to and from the North African country. All right, so the UN basically stepped in. And that was an assassination, by the way, as it speaks on in the third paragraph. The UN stepped in and implied uh, an embargo, you know, not allowing them in a supply of arms. All right, so they seeking Russian support, which, keep in mind, Russia happens to be um, at odds with and tension is in sanctions and in an uproar with America. So moving on, reading the third summary, it says, Following the fall and assassination of Gaddafi, varying factions have been striving to control the remnants of what's left of Libya. However, only the internationally recognized Tripoli-based government of the National Accord, GNA, can receive weapon supplies and only upon the approval of a UN Security Council committee. So the UN is basically being that middleman, that big brother of if they're going to allow them to receive arms, they got to go through their, you know, hoops, you know. They got to jump through their hoops and uh, meet their requirements, if you will, in order to receive arms. So this just caught my attention off the simple fact that Libya is seeking Russian support, you know, and this is only furthering the agenda of the Heavenly Father of World War Three about to be implemented, all right, I believe it's Revelation 11 and 14 that expounds on that, that says, you know, uh, let's grab it, right quick, it's pretty simple, but let's not butcher it, it says the second war is passed, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. All right. And that's that third world's war. So I'm going to correlate that with Joel 3 and 9. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. All right. And these Gentiles are natural born Gentiles, but also Israelite foreigners, which there is many Israelites in the land of Libya and scattered all over that don't know that they're Israelites. That's following after the customs of these other heathens, these natural born heathens, and drunk on the wine of her fornication. Babylon's fornication, following after their ways and customs and whatnot. But nonetheless, it says, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. And let the weak say I'm strong. So this is another example, which I just recently did a video on this topic of the weak saying I am strong. The last one, I believe, was going into North Korea. But this one, you know, is uh, Libya. They're seeking, once again, Russian support, which I'm sure they probably will have no problem doing just to get under the skin of, you know, these Western countries and whatnot, considering they're at odds with one another. You know, these little petty games they like to play. But regardless of which is the will of the Heavenly Father. So this is only furthering Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's agenda. It says, Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen 
and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be weakened. It's like it. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. All right. So in the Middle East, which is where the valley of Jehoshaphat is. All right. The valley of judgment, Yahweh Shapat, is where the Lord is going to have primarily this World War Three kicking off in the area of the Levant. So I say all that just to say this, bringing it back home. They said we won't surrender an inch of our land. All right. So they fed up with being told what to do. And ain't no way, ain't no telling how this is going to go. It's all the will of the Heavenly Father. You know, if they're going to want to oh, try to put some, you know, some uh, scare tactics into this marshal or whatever, you know, they plan this to do. But nonetheless, it's furthering the agenda of the Heavenly Father. And uh, they're no longer willing to tolerate, you know, the UN's bullshit, which America is the main one funding that shit. You know, they got other countries involved, but they're the main ones that's upholding it. So, hopefully you guys been edified. You know, you can read further more into it at your own leisure. You know, I was just doing a brief proof reading. And um, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.